going on YouTube? Plan to inspire. Uh, I'm actually kind of rushing because I am on a very strict uh, time clock. I'm going to start with Ironclad. <laughs> I have four of these. I've played all of them. Gotten all the unlocks for each of them. But Ironclad is going to obviously be our start off. Let's do an actual run without Ascension this time. I've taken off Ascension, so we should do better. <laughs> random common relic or two cards. Honestly, I'll take a random common relic. So yeah, once you've got... Now this is how their attacks normally are. Instead of their psycho attacks that they were doing earlier. Because I'm Ascension 10 on everyone but the uh, Watcher. Jeez, this is some damage you're doing. Bash is 8 and the strike will do 9. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> ah, that's playful. Do a mental math. Uh, I'm gonna start with flex because I'm actually gonna be able to get decent cards and all, all of that regret. I now, ooh, all power. Okay, so frozen egg. Whenever you add a power card into the deck, it is upgraded. Some uh, centennial puzzle. Whenever the first time every combat that I lose HP, I draw three cards, and regret's gonna make sure I draw at the end of this turn. This isn't fun. Mm. Uh. Killing the front line should be what? That's ten. It blocks for three. Oh yeah, they don't they don't block for ridiculous numbers anymore. That's great. Draw all those at the end of my turn. We're gets my least favorite card in this game. See now, now metallicize is worth it. Into the shop. I will get rid of that regret. Having curses in your deck, unless you have a build around it. It's honestly not worth it. I could get it. Okay, so I'm gonna look at these cards with you, uh, with you guys. Although I know what they do, I just want to show you guys what they do. Hemokinesis. You lose two HP, but deal 15 damage. On upgrade, lose two HP, deal 20 damage. And I've also beaten the heart, so you can see all their beta arts. <laughs> I kind of like this one a lot, but I'll leave on this. Pummel. Deal two damage four times. So this is what I was talking about. So essentially, if I were to use this on the his guard mode, he'd be dealing, he'd be doing what three times four basically. So he would actually be making out with more damage than me. This is just deal two damage five times, and so if you were to add strength modifiers on this, this is where you you can see where the ridiculousness starts to become uh, ridiculous. Burning pack, exhaust one card, draw two cards, exhaust remove and remove a card until the end of combat. Exhaust one card, draw three cards. Iron Mints. Five block, upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Five, uh, upgrade five block, but then you upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of the combat. Iron Mints is on paper really good, but in reality, I, it's not as consistent as I would like it to be. Bag of Preparation, at the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Uh, Pantograph, at the start of a boss combat, heal for 25 HP, which is probably the best thing you can get but it's not a consistent thing since it's usually I think I'm pretty sure it's only in the shop no it's not it can be the shop or in the uh, chest brimstone I don't use this at all at the start of your turn gain two strength and all enemies gain one strength that is great if you have something that scales on strength but even then if you deal with multiple enemies you are gonna be scaling slower than they will more times than not, they'll be scaling much faster than you. I can just kill here. Power flex. And then metallicize. Okay. Now this is this is the Gremlin knob. My least favorite enemy by far. So with the Gremlin knob, at the as you see at the bottom, he's currently in rage. Whenever you play a skill, he gains two strength. As you go up with a, um, as you go up in difficulty, he will gain more strength. At the moment, this is without any difficulty, so he gains two strength. But eventually, he'll start going up to points where he gets five strength for you playing one skill. But since Metallica is a power, I gain eight block because I have two of them active. So I have eight block at the end of the tur my turn. And I don't have to use my defenses, increasing his strength. 
My only problem is flex is considered a skill. I did not want to do that, but I guess we'll live. Yeah, it was a tragic uh, <laughs> error. But yeah, strike, strike. Uh, I'm gonna use this weak potion because you're honestly doing 21s again. So now he's been increased to nine damage because I used the skill. But he'll die. He should die this turn. Yeah. Whew, thankfully. <laughs> Blood vial. At the start of each combat, heal two HP. Emerald key for beating the Emerald Elite. Uh. How much defense do I have? I feel like I have more defense than I do aggression. But I want True Grit. True Grit on its upgrade. Hold on. True Grit upon upgrading, you gain nine block and it, you can choose what card you want to get rid of. Non upgraded, you gain seven block and you exhaust one card at random. Random cards I usually don't take, but obviously I can upgrade it here. So now I can choose whatever card I want to exhaust. And we are currently going up against the same boss. I always forget these bosses' names. I have to learn these bosses' names. Because I almost feel like I'm disrespecting them. Uh, one on you and... I'll say one on the front. Okay, you, you two are doing the most damage. Can't, bu can't be doing that. Ouch. Okay. Uh, get rid of you. Metallicize, metallicize. I can fully block both of them more often than not. Bash him, strike him. Bash applies vulnerable, which means they take 50% more damage. I could do carnage. Mm, Shockwave is really good though. I'm gonna do carnage. Okay, so this is a chest. They give you free relics. On more, negate the next two curses you obtain. And it was linked to the Sapphire Key. Link is literally just you pick one or the other. Well, yeah, I guess I could read these, but nah. I think I think I've read them already myself, and it's just like I mean, once again, if you guys want me to read this stuff, I can. But just for the video's sake of keeping it moving, I won't. I'll explain things as it goes, but otherwise, I really just want to. Uh, the video keep moving because the game can take a while to finish uh, attack you because when these enemies die they actually give you vulnerable so you get to play around all of them attacking so okay kill you then what um I have to play this because ethereal <sighs> I'll let it go ethereal cards basically mean that if it's in my hand to end the turn, it exhausts. And it just exhausted, unfortunately. Ah, I am misplaying. I will erase this. I can say this right now, I will not die. I may be misplaying, but I shall not die. I am legitimately misplaying like crazy. I should not be that weak on health. Uh, second flex. Wow, again, okay. You guys are individuals. Didn't think I'd be dealing with you this many times. Uh, I can kill this backline, can't I? Oh no, I can't because he's not within lethal range. So let's take my two blocks. Ah, that's the pain. I'm gonna kill the one with the more health, obviously. You know, we're striking when I have spot weakness. It's, it's really great when that happens. So, that's four plus the one. Honestly, as long as I get down my. Uh... Now, here is a bridge. Feel no pain is great. Whenever I cut exhaust, gain four. So, if I were to have that out and then use true grit. I get the 9 block plus the 4 block extra. So I'd have 13 block total. Plus the combined might of both of 8 extra block at the end of the turn. True Grit would accompany me for a lot. But 
we also have barricade which if the enemy doesn't attack i gain a permanent eight block and it's already upgraded thanks to frozen egg oh i feel like barricade honestly i don't have the stuff set up for barricade but i feel like i can definitely go go into the future getting stuff for barricade This boss can eat through your health pretty easily. 30, I'll just break that down. Come. Oh, he has one left! That hurts! And then you're not even gonna attack me. That's rude, nigga. That's rude, and you know it. But I'm already building my block, so. Defend. I'm actually going to get rid of defenses. As counterintuitive as that sounds. I feel like the only way for me to really deal with this is getting rid of the, the defense I have. And we can you. So you only do 12. I wouldn't actually keep my block for a while. Again, spot weakness. You're in the best hand possible, you know? But I mean, I, I currently have three strength. That three strength alone is really good. Bash. Fan, uh, flex, flex, trigger it. Once again, the more defense I get rid of, the easier it'll be for me to take him out. So the more consistent spot weakness will show up. Here's the thing. I'm blocking the full 20. Bash would be great. Oh yeah, Bash is great. Have Crunch in my next hand, plus the 6th uh, strength, I take care of you. <sighs> you really like to do this. But you die next turn no matter what. Twenty-two damage, just like that. That's the first boss. Uh, I will grow. Um, offering is actually better. What offering does is I lose six HP, but in turn I gain two energy, and I draw three cards. Upgraded to be, I'm pretty sure, five cards. Yep. Calling bell. It's a relic that gives me a curse, and it gives me three extra relics after. Sacred Bark, it does the effectiveness of potions. That's literally it. So if it says give two, uh, plus five strength, five temporary strength, I then gain ten, and so on and so forth. Everything is literally just doubled, like it says. Velvet Choker, gives me an extra energy permanently, but I can no longer play any more than six cards per turn. Uh, I always go to Calling Bell. I enjoy the Calling Bell, and... If we if we've been paying attention, I have Omori, so I don't actually uh, gain that curse. So I got three relics for free: Mill Ticket, Kunai, Champion Belt. Whenever I apply a vulnerable, I apply a weak. Okay, so left to right: Mill Ticket. I enter a shop. I gain 15 health. Kunai. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. Champion Belt. Whenever I apply a vulnerable, I apply a one weak. So now anything that does vulnerable gives me weakness and vice versa. But if they never get hit with the vulnerable, then they never hit with the weak. I know you guys are saying, well that makes sense obviously, but some enemies can actually negate uh, their vulnerability. Uh, I don't really need carnage, I'll be fine without it. What I do need to do is drop these enemies to the floor. So these enemies, as you see the flight, receives 50% less da uh, attack damage but if they're dealt three different types of damage in a turn no question if they're dealt three strike damages so attack based damage in one turn they get knocked to the floor so something like oh wow this is really not nice hits you hits you metallicize sure it would have probably been better but Yeah, these enemies can very easily overwhelm you. God, Jesus. This is why offering is so nice. I was like, please give me a strike. That would be great if I got a strike. So now Metallicize gives me... Well, I still get my block from just doing this. So I strike you twice. True grip. Oh jeez. 
So uh, the back line can be killed. The front line is currently picking itself up off the floor. But like it says, not a uh, enemy senses are unknown, but it's telling you that it's not attacking. You will not get up off that floor. Could have dealt with the backline, which probably would have been better in this situation, but I don't want to have all three of them constantly attacking me. <sighs> They're doing a lot less damage than what they usually do, and that's the only thing I'm great remembering grateful for. Bash, uh, yeah, strike. Bash isn't gonna help me. The reason I stopped uh, short of my energy is because honestly, it, it wouldn't have mattered. Anger, deal six damage. Add a copy of this card into your discard pile whenever it's played. Cleave, deal eleven damage to all enemies. Really good. Well, that's the upgrade version. Iron Wave, deal 5 da uh, five block and 5 damage to opponent, 7 blocks on damage to opponent, Anger is 8 damage to an opponent, and like I said, this is already upgraded so I can't really show you the non-upgraded version. I'm pretty sure it's 7 damage to all opponents. I'm going to grab the Cleave, because a situation like that would have been dealt with if I had grabbed Cleave. Now this is a unique situation, uh, to I'm going to actually grab the card. I could grab Feel No Pain and just deal with that, or Perfect Strike again. Kind of leaning into it, but I should probably go with something that helps my defense. Flame Barrier is not bad, but it costs two. I don't want to Feel No Pain like I originally wanted. It costs size. Uh, uh, true Grit Defend. Once again, the more defense I gain early on, the easier it'll be. Barricade, Flex. Spot weakness. Why did I do the? F <laughs> I'm an ind I'm just special. Don't don't worry about me. See now this opponent, he has three artifacts. It negates a debuff. That's why I was talking about if I don't even apply the vulnerable, he won't be weakened. So if I were to hit him with this bash, he'd only get hit with the one debuff, which would be the vulnerable. Uh, the amount of debuffs doesn't matter it's just the fact that it's a debuff so vulnerable hit him it's only for one and because it didn't apply the vulnerable at all he didn't lose a second one other way ooh hmm country 33 or I die uh no I don't die what I'm talking about I eat more damage than I thought I would flex flex bash defend we're fine. The 8 damage alone is really good. Uh, Carnage kills. Thank you, Carnage, for being a thing. Regen potion. Jesus. <laughs> really good. Uh, burning pack. I get to draw a card as well. Oh my gosh. Now, regen potion. Gain 5 regen. Regen happens at the end of each turn. And I'm pretty sure at some point they buffed it. Or change it. it. It's one or the other. They either changed or buffed it. Uh, true grit. Let's not get killed. Before, it actually used to build up rather than going down, which was odd. So now you'd actually get more in the beginning rather than at the end of it. Oh my god, some for. No. Uh. Thing is, if I don't get any defense on this next turn, I do just die. Hmm. So, if I don't get away with this offering, I just die, right? Tile size, defend, spot weakness, cleave on the hope. Wait, it's still 21. Uh. Belly alive, Jesus. Strike, burning pack, get rid of defense. Man, that's, that's unfortunate. Carnage. Ooh, of all cards I could have drawn Carnage. Uh, well, I can start increasing my defense at least. Okay, okay. I am slowly but surely going to die. Hmm. My healing will bring me up to 10. The heat is 21. I'm doing 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17. 
I live this turn. Oh right, the weakness. See, that's <laughs> I forget about these all the time. Very easily, that weakness being added to him is what saved my uh, me from taking any damage. Perfected strike. Oh my gosh, I am an unlucky soul when it comes down to opponents. I think it's also just a matter of, I'm just bad at managing my deck sometimes. Uh, attack potion. I choose one of three random attacks, cards added to your hand, and cause zero this turn. Uppercut is very nice. Uh, Thunderclap is actually even better, but this is 13 damage, so. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Perfect strike. No, I think uppercut. Uppercut you. That breaks you. This is a 30. You only do seven blah, uh, seven damage. Thirteen damage. If I were to hit you, that's twenty. I could kill you next turn. Uh, I. Mm, the problem is, I know you attack me next turn, though. That's the problem. I think I have to go with getting rid of you. So I don't have enough energy. This is the problem with not constantly getting things that give me energy. So I'm gonna do this. Get rid of strike. Pop a flex, and then do this to guaranteeingly keep most of my life. I kill the back line. Back line once again gives me vulnerable on death, and vulnerable gives me 50%. So he do eight times two. I'm pretty sure, and that's 16. I can block for four if I let Carnage go. If I use Burn Impact, that's an eight. Uh, so I deal. I block for eight, 12. I block for 12 right now. So if I don't kill the back line, I block fully. If I kill a back line, I mm, 16, 12. I could live through 16. Let's go for it. Oh no, it's only seven, so I definitely live through that. Problem now is I can't use offering, so I do double block into this. It's only 14, I block 18. Whew, Jesus. Uh, spot weakness. Carnage? Carnage is doing, what, 31 right now? Hmm. I have to block for 10. If I let Carnage go, it's a guarantee 10. I have to block, though. If I don't block, I just die. Flex. Whoo! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so that was so painful. Uh, disarm. It, disarm literally takes away their attack damage. Have to heal. Oh my gosh, that was that was heart racing, heart racing, truly. Dead branch, no. Dead branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card into your hand. Dead branch on Ironclad is known to be one of the strongest cards in the game, or not cards, one of the strongest rocks in the game. Why do I misspeak like these? Uh, like these. Perfected strike. I don't know what it is with PlayStation, but PlayStation always tends to. Oh, that's great. Now this is the problem. Uh, Bottle to nail, but do I want to add feel no pain or barricade? I feel barricade. I feel like no matter how well or how bad I do, barricade has to be added to my deck. Or not to my deck, to the first hand. For moments like this. And I feel like I am metallicized instead of taking a strike. Because once again, the matter of my defense is really what matters. Burning pack. I leave the front line. He lives by block for almost all of it. Kill the front line. Metallicize, flex, flex, because I can. Metallicize. True good your review, defend. The sooner I build everything, the easier it gets for me against you. I block for the 20. 
That's 31, this is 21. Carnage is still better than Perfected Strike. I haven't been adding any strike cards. I, I think I might get rid of Perfected Strike. Go to Daze. Daze burns out automatically. I'll just, yeah. Any card that exhausts is just guaranteed block for me. Meanwhile, I'm fighting against his own block. He also has barricade, similar to me. <laughs> Don't promise. Mine is better. No. Oh well. You live for another day. 15 block. Uh, hmm. Scared of bash. Strike, strike. There we go. Body slam. I almost got rid of body. I almost didn't take body slam. Body slam. Deal damage equal to your block. The perfect card for this. You guys are actually nerfed, so I'm not like not like actually nerfed, but like in terms of what I'm playing right now, they're nerfed to me. Flex, Carnage, almost kills Bear. I'll go with a guaranteed kill rather than almost. Bear, he lowers my dexterity, I think, by two. Yeah. That makes this a little more difficult, but things like Metallicize are unaffected by dexterity down, so. Yeah, that's, take that as you will. Uh, go to strike. Disarm you because you do a lot of damage and hit Bear in the back for 19. So, Metallicize again. Defend. I'm going to actually hit the front line. Ooh, I'm taking damage because Bear is a painful one. Metallicize again. I'm going to bash Bear? I gained a lot of defense in, in like one turn. But Bear has to die. That vulnerability helps me kill Bear. Get rid of my defense. See, situation like this is where you really don't need defense at all. Carnage. True Grid again. Defend. Cause it's only if it's only gonna give me three because of my dexterity, there's no reason to have it. Spot weakness. Hit you with that. So like you're weak. I need a better way of weaken people. Or uh Okay, War Cry, that's not bad. War Cry, draw two cards for zero cost. Put a card from your hand on top of the draw pile. Now, Warcry unupgraded is draw one card and do the same effect. Go this way. Singing ball! Okay, I won't lie. As whenever I started this game, when I saw Singing Ball, it it was a great it's a great card. It a uh, great relic. I keep calling them cards. When adding cards into your deck, you may choose to raise your max HP by two instead. It's a great card. It truly is. Healed up a little bit. Uh, what boss is it? Uh, okay, Torchhead. I I know I said Torchhead, but you understand what I mean. Ornamental fan is really good. Uh, other than that, I kind of wish I could remove a card. Cause I really want to get rid of Perfected Strike when I really think about it, but it will be fun. Oh, I have Blessing of the Forge. Upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of the combat. Barricade, backline is striking me. Um. Hmm. What do I think? What do I think? Do I think I should upgrade all my cards? Yes, I do. I lost Carnage, so that's unfortunate. Feel no pain. War Cry. Put. Hmm. No matter what I put away, it's going to get drawn by offering, so I'll put the defense up there. Flex. Metallicize. Burning Pack, the Bash. Offering. Metallicize. Metallicize. I was thinking about doing a uh, defense, but no. So I'm now getting 12 block at the end of every turn. Strike you. Disarm you as well. Defend, defend. So with with the blue, uh, the man in blue or turquoise or green, whichever color you see, uh, what he did was he hexed me. Whenever you play a non-attack card, so that's power or skill, shuffle uh, shuffle one days into your draw pile. Days is unplayable and ethereal. It goes away at the end of your turn, but you can't play it unless you have 
a specific relic. Um, you do 14 to you, 20 to you. I think mm, he's buffing for his strength, but he has minus strength, so I don't have to worry about him for now. The only good thing about the days is I have feel no pain, and every time a card is exhausted, when it's ethereal, it exhausts. So I'll gain four block for every ethereal in my hand, so I never really run out of defense. So me just playing spell cards or power cards, it actively is giving me defense for later. So once again, defenses I needed. Ooh, almost the wrong. Kill the back line. And body slam. Now I have the choice at the bottom. Two at max HP. And yeah, two max HP doesn't seem like a lot. But when you do when every combat gives you a card, and sometimes you can get cards from resting, it's kind of OP. Now the question is do I upgrade this arm or mm, I think I'll heal. I'll heal for the 54. I'm also not gonna try to go and get all of the keys this turn. Or um Oh wow, South of the Feel no pain is probably better but too. Yeah, already glad I got feel no pain instead. Offering. Then I'll war cry. War cry exhaust, which is unfortunate. Um Bash can weaken them, so I'll put the defense away. Talisize, weaken you. Flex. Strike the back line. So realistically, as long as I get rid of the back line, I don't have to deal with the front line at all. Mm, of course, took everything I had though. Spell with Mishu. For a 31. Mm. Bash obviously gets 3 because I have 3 strength. I may actually lose here. Cleave the midline. Flex. Should have done that in a different order so that I did more damage to the front line, but it's fine. This is dangerous because he debuffs me. I'm vulnerable and frail, which is terrifying. So his debuff does vulnerable, frail, and weakness. Frail, I gain 25% less block for a card, and that's for three turns. So, okay, 6, 12. That is why I did True Grit first. Uh, defense, no. Because I survived with having True Grit. Now he's calling back his uh, Goon Squad. Of course, on one turn, I wish he weren't. But luckily, he doesn't attack after the fact. Uh, Light Slam you to mm, not even go for the kill. Should have definitely done this in a different order. But I have Flex and I have. Wow, okay. A weaker. That's fine, I guess. I still survive it, it's just, I should have definitely done the uh, body slam in a better way. All those debuffs are gone, but the worst time possible. So front up, uh, mm. if I do bash, that is 22, mm. so the thing is I can either kill the front line or kill the back line. There's kind of no in between. I gain 12, so I get 24. So I think I actually have to kill the back line and I hit the front line for all that. Ah, yeah, yeah. okay. Perfectly. <laughs> Man, it's almost like I'm planning this. Uh, I'm supposed to be planning this, aren't I? I I'm, I'm currently just trying to get as much block as possible as soon as possible. Uh, this feels like a losing fight, though. I feel as though I would... Mm, I can kill this back line. Oh, this mid line. And then block for uh, full defense. Bash will weaken the back line. Disarm will also just weaken the back line. Hmm. I think bashing is going to definitely be the better option for the weakness. I'll hit you for 20, I'll block all of that. My tactics are use a quarter of my brain for 90% of this. Uh, trigger it. If I manage to get through this, 
Uh, well, I don't know what to say. We can you again. I feel like now is the time I should go be going for the back line, specifically only the back line. Because I have the capability to definitely get rid of him. Cleave. True grit the strike. Body slam the back line for 55. Yeah, I, I, could, I definitely got through this. Alright. Whew, it was a journey. That was a journey. But at the end of the day, I got through it. With a little bit of problems, <laughs> but we still did it. We out here, boys. Bash you. Strike you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, jeez. See? I already passed dead branch. Why? Corruption. Skills cost zero whenever you play a skill exhausted. And I might still just take it. Because I have, what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve skills. So I have twelve skills, and at that point, I should just be adding more skills on. Just so I can keep the uh, feel no pain going. Because that's four block every skill I use, and they're all free. I I'm going to probably still grab it, honestly. Mark of pain. That's extra energy. It's. <laughs> extra energy. Mark Payne is also one of the unique uh, energy relics for the uh, Iron Class specifically. Final boss is... Oh, the Awakened one. I remember I remember all three of the final bosses at least. Oh, be something good. If I cut you... And then cleave. Probably still alive, but it's fine. This is one I probably could have just not played. Um, you did. Flex. I have five. Uh, I had to kill you. I am taking a lot of damage, but I'd rather take the damage now than later. Because these two spikers can get up to some absurd amount of uh, damage. Twin strike to increase my strike damage. Don the red mask. Very nice if you already have the red mask before the third floor. Uh, barricade, flex, perfect strike. These enemies are all linked, life link. If other enemies are still alive, res revives us for two turns. So this one, I have to really m meteor my life, but I'm not going to do that because I am a simpleton. And you come back to life next turn, but it'll be at half health. Strike you, body slam you. So I'm fine with burning all of my uh, skills because I do get those skills back thanks to um, well, not skills, but I get the uh, I'm basically use cost effectively using all of my energy. Considering they all get burnt, using them really doesn't matter. I'm keeping you dead in the back. You're irritating me. Cause if I get def enough defense soon enough. I've been doing that without feel no pain. God help me. I've really been screwing this with not without using feel no pain. Wow. Spark this on you. Twin strike you kill. Kill you again. Alright, now middle line is the only one left. This is only what the third the third uh, space? Flex, defend, burning pack, perfect strike, I do more damage than it. Yeah, perfecting strike is not required here. Uh, go see armor. Disarm, metallicize, body slam. I will get rid of disarm. Uh, that's a force event. I will act. Mm, I just realized. <sighs> Thankfully, okay. So this is the card. Okay, I know what parasite is, so I don't have to worry about that. Feed it gives me max HP by three if I get the final hit with it. Didn't want Sword Boomerang. Wow, that's unfortunate. Huh. I 
I may may or may not have picked the literal worst elite to deal with. Uh, hmm. Okay, so hmm. corruption. I think I actually have to play all of these regardless of what the good or bad outcome is. Kill you. And just accept the little bit of damage I take. Yeah, I know, it hurts. Uh Wow sir, that was not funny. The strike. So enemies like these, these are minions, and they have been in combat without their leader, but they also have to be triggered uh, for things like feed, fatal attacks, they have to be triggered on non-minion cards, or else you could just spam it over and over again. Jesus, uh, have to kill you, or bad things will happen to me. I am surviving. Mmm, I think I, I am dying. Well, I mean, hey, I survived way longer than I should have, honestly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video because we've been good running for a good minute. I don't want this to be a whole hour long. And it might still be like a half hour to 40 minutes long. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this Slay the Spire episode, video, whatever you want to call it, honestly. Uh, I want to branch out to more things, but I just feel like you guys won't enjoy a lot of things that I'll be playing. But I'll, I'll still, I'll need to put up at least a lot of one-shots. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later.